Okay, hello everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, create a color wheel and a few value scales on watercolor paper. Um, and so first you will wanna make sure that you have a pencil, preferably the pencil has an eraser. If you don't have one, um, please make sure to grab one before getting started. We're also um, going to be using this. You'll notice that you have a circle, right? You have a half circle and you have a little slice. And so all of this is put together with a paper clip. You'll notice that each of these should have a number on the front as well as the back. So this one has one on the front as well as the back. These two do not, but yours should, and it should match your seed number. Please make sure that the paper clip you're keeping to the side, we will be using it again. And then lastly, we have our watercolor paper, and so we're looking at both sides. You'll notice that one side is more textured, it's thicker, while the other side is a lot smoother. On the smoother side, this is where you are placing your name and your period number. Okay. We're gonna go ahead, turn to the front side. Now, I'm gonna go and look through all of these, and we're actually going to start with the circle first. And so we're gonna get the circle right almost to the edge of the paper here. And then with our hand, that is not our dominant hand, we're pushing down so that this doesn't move. And so, there it is, we're gonna go ahead and move that. So now you should have your circle. This guy we're gonna go ahead and put to the side. Now we're gonna go and grab this one over here. And we are going to lay it. It doesn't have to all the way, right, go to the edge. But I do want it to be pretty much lined up here on these edges. So if we can see the line here a little bit, that's totally fine. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and grab the little slice and we are going to line up this edge. So line up this edge to this line here, okay? I don't care if this is not all the way lined up correctly. That doesn't really matter. I just wanna make sure that this edge is lined up to that line. And so now we have our first little slice here. We're gonna go ahead and now line it up right next to the one right there. Now again, if it doesn't line up over here, that's totally fine. But we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we're keeping it lined up all the way. So right here too, you'll notice it's going a little bit off. So right here. Right, we're lining it up. Now over here, it's a little extended, that doesn't matter. So long as the rest of it is in line, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make that little slice. Okay, so it doesn't matter. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera but you continue on, okay? Okay, and so now you see that I went ahead and I finished it, and this should be one, two, three, four, five, six. And so there should also be an additional six over here. You can move your paper. So sorry about that. You can move your paper if you need. And then from here, we're starting to line up the rest of these. Make sure that the point is right here on the edge. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Okay, so the point should be touching this right here as we line it up. And so if it goes, if it extends a little bit out, that doesn't matter so long as the point is on that line, okay? And so I'm going to continue tackling the rest of this off camera. Okay, and so now I went ahead and I completed it. So now we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
and 12. So we should have 12 of these. Okay. Um, we're going to actually go ahead and grab a ruler. And we are going to go ahead and line it up. So right here. We're going to go ahead, line up that first line here to the edge right there. And then we're going to go ahead and at the one inch mark, we're going to make a little line just like that. And we're going to actually do that for every single one of these lines. And the reason is we're going to create a subcategory in this color wheel. And so we want to make sure that we're not mixing this subcategory with the main category, which will be just like the regular primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Right over here. Right now you start you're starting to see like those little ticks. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera. Okay, and so now we can see the rest of these have been included. And so what we're going to do now is with our pencil, we're gonna just go ahead and start adding a curved line that connects all of these. And so now we're creating a little subcategory within each of these portions in our color wheel and they're basically as equal or as even as they can be okay. and so there it is and if you feel like moving any of the numbers you have written down you can they don't bother me as much but you can move them if you'd like all right, now we're going to go ahead, we're going to move to the bottom portion. And so we're going to be using this ruler one more time. And we're going to bring it right almost to the edge of this guy here. And just with the width of the ruler, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create two lines just like that. Okay, from here at the one inch mark, at the one inch, we're gonna go ahead and make a little line just like that. And I do apologize. And then right here, we're lining it up. And then this we're gonna get rid of. Okay, these are going to be different sections. Over here, we're going to line it up. This time, I'm lining up the edge of my paper with the one inch mark. And then right here where that first little tick is, I'm going to go ahead and make my mark there. And then like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just like that, I'm going to 